Cheryl investigators are quickly uncovering information tonight about the gunman and what prompted this latest mass shooting in America. Sources tell ABC News he'd left a note to his parents and friends that he was going to shoot up the bank, where those sources say he'd been told he was about to be fired. Before the start of business Monday morning, police say an armed employee started in on a deadly shooting spree inside Louisville's old National Bank. Shots fired. Shots fired here. Armed with a rifle, police say the 25-year-old gunman stormed into a first-floor conference room around 8.30 a.m. and unleashed on his colleagues. He had a long assault rifle, and he started, you hear the, 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 the shots just start firing. We have a break room, and I got in there and shut the door for a second. And then I was looking around, the, I opened the door to see where he was at, and I could see him still shooting. I didn't see his face, and then I took off running out the front door. Within three minutes of being dispatched, Officers arrived on scene and encountered the suspect almost immediately, still firing gun, gunshots. Some of those gunshots hit police who'd shot their way into the bank trying to stop the massacre. Officers down on the steps, in front of the bank. That officer was rushed into life-saving surgery. Police say four more employees had already died. Kentucky's governor and Louisville's mayor could offer few words of comfort. We lost four children of God today one of whom was one of my closest friends. It's one of the people I talk to most in the world and very rarely were we talking about my job. He was an incredible friend. And then this evening we learned a fifth victim has also died. Let's be clear about what this was. This was an evil act of targeted violence. But the stinging reality is this Monday morning massacre was just this week's mass shooting. Who has not yet been personally impacted by gun violence? That's right. Because we are all in danger. That's the message today from Louisville. People united can never be defeated. By dusk, people stood ground in Chicago's Federal Plaza, rallying for causes, including gun laws, they believe could stop this kind of mass bloodshed. Today, April 10th, is the 100th day of 2023. According to the Gun Violence Archive, today's deadly shooting in Louisville marks the 146th mass shooting this year and the 15th this month. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.